Anticipation continues to build with the upcoming total solar eclipse that's taking place on April the 8th. What we've done here is uh, overlaid uh, cloud coverage that's typical for the first couple of weeks of April and uh, then also looked at the path of totality and we can pinpoint even right now down to the mile exactly where this path of totality is going to be. Uh, we can even tell you uh, when the eclipse is going to begin and end. What we can tell you right now is the weather forecast and that's obviously very crucial for April the 8th, but we can kind of give you a hint at what typically takes place in early to uh, mid April. Cloud cover predominates, especially up here to the north uh, from the uh, Great Lakes into northern New England, 70 to 80% cloud coverage on average in that time of April. So chances of you seeing the eclipse in Cleveland, Buffalo, Burlington, Vermont, not as great. The uh, cloud coverage averages about 60 to 70% in the Ohio Valley around Indianapolis, Muncie, Indiana. Both will be in the path of totality. Now, as we get down closer to Texas here, especially North Texas, uh, we tend to see a little more sunshine that time of the year, although it's uh, very typical to see low clouds in the morning giving way to sunshine in the afternoon and so timing will be very critical as well. It looks like right now, at least according to climatology, the best odds of having a clearer sky for the total solar eclipse will be down in south parts of uh, Texas, parts of South Texas. Here's a closer look at our sky condition climatology here in North Texas uh, from April 1st to April 15th. This is looking at 23 years of data within one hour of the eclipse time, which will be right around 1.40 uh, in the afternoon, you're looking at a little better than a one in three chance of seeing mostly cloudy to cloudy skies. That would be poor conditions for viewing. Uh, on the flip side, about a 13 to 14% chance of crystal clear skies. This category features just a few uh, clouds. So in both of these cases, we'd be looking really good. I think chances are we're probably going to see at least scattered clouds. And even if that occurs, uh, there's still a pretty decent chance we'll get to see at least part of that total solar eclipse. Obviously, we'll continue to keep a close eye on the weather forecast. And as the days draw closer to April 8th, we'll be able to give you a much better look at uh, how skies will be for that big day again, April 8th. Uh, coming up in just a few weeks.